Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna give you some advice on how to go about learning anything new, especially as it pertains to web front end, UI, UX, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. Uh, this comes about as I've been talking about, um, you know, growing my skill set and learning JavaScript. A lot of people have been hitting me up, Mike. You know, what are you using to learn JavaScript? Um, you know, I want to learn it too, and this and that. Um, nothing special. I started reading over the last couple of weeks so far. I uh, started reading uh, just articles and I downloaded JavaScript for Dummies and I opened up an account on Treehouse, um, started learning JavaScript basics. But somebody hit me up today. Nick, shout out to Nick. Uh, we we're going back and forth on email, hit me up on the DM as well. And we we're talking about some things that's quite apparent. I've been aware of this uh, throughout my career. And that's we were talking about bloat. Um, Nick was telling me uh, in a roundabout way, he goes, Mike, you might want to go a little bit more advanced because there could be a lot of bloat out there. And it is quite apparent that there is a lot of bloat when it comes to just opening up a textbook and reading JavaScript 101. Okay, and this applies to anything that you're trying to learn. Um, me, as an expert in UI and UX, I know this quite well because this is the problem with learning anything online, teachers, universities, just a lot of courses and whatnot, is they teach you a lot of non-essential things, and we can call it bloat, all right? Um, you want to get to the core, okay? And we call that the essentials, okay? My advice to you, if you're learning anything today, make sure it's the essentials. Because if when I look at you can look at anything across the board, UI, UX, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatnot. There's a million things that you can learn. As UI designers, we've learned, learned Photoshop, right? Photoshop is this massive tool early on in my career, right? That has a million buttons and features and things like that. And it's so daunting. But on a day-to-day -day basis, when you're editing photos or creating interfaces, you're using a handful of things, 10 to 20 things that you use constantly over and over again. Those are the things that you want to learn, you want to pinpoint and try to narrow down those essentials and become very good at those essentials. And then as you go, you start because those essentials will get you started. And then as you go, you'll be able to learn those long tail non-essential things. Okay? We all know that. I'm sure you're probably nodding your head. Yeah, because day to day, you're using a handful of things. You ever come across something of a tool that you, you consider yourself an expert in and somebody shows you a particular feature and you're like, oh, I never knew that. The point is you never knew that because it was a non-essential, okay? If I'm teaching you how to drive a car. I need to teach you the brake, the gas pedal, steering wheel, how to put the key, a key in, the ignition, how to start the car, where the gas tank is, right? Those are the essentials. I don't need to teach you how to connect your iPhone to the Bluetooth to your car, right? Those are non-essential. So today when you're opening up a textbook and you're, you're learning something online, if I use a textbook for a metaphor, it's this big. And you open up page one intro and they're teaching you all this stuff when, when the essential stuff is probably 20 pages, right? And so our, if you're learning anything new, if I'm learning anything new, Try to go after your essentials. If you're not, if someone's not teaching you the essentials, they're teaching you bloat. Okay, this is how I teach. This is why uh, so many people resonate with the things that I say is because I teach you the real world stuff. Do you, do I know it all? No, because the things that I don't know right now, they're not essential to my life but I'm quite successful uh, knowing the essential things. And that's how we have to go about learning new things when it comes to UI, UX, product design, HTML, CSS, job, JavaScript, and so forth. All right, that's my advice to you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you love the things that I talk about, please hit the like button. And as always, uh, visit my website, mlwebco.com. If you have any questions for me, I'll be happy to answer anything for you. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.